Good morning. Happy Sunday. Um, I'm starting the vlog on Sunday because it's November 1st and for other reasons that I'll explain in a little bit. So I'm currently doing just a bunch of boring adult stuff but taking a break to have a breakfast sandwich even though it's like almost noon. Um, but I'm hoping today that I'm going to be starting The Bad Beginning, which is the first book in a series of unfortunate events. I hate that all of these books have these stupid Netflix stickers on them. Oh, but that peeled off nicely. And I'm hoping that I'm gonna start this today. It's so small. Also, it's got deckled edges. I didn't know that. I really like that. Um, I wonder how many pages are in it. It's only 162 pages, so I could definitely finish this in like an hour and a half probably, which is the goal for today. Like I said, I think I can finish the first like four or five books in a day each and then spend the rest of the month focusing on the larger books. Um, and I'm really excited to reread this series. Well, actually, I've only read like the first three books. Um, and I do also really want to rewatch the movie because I loved it growing up and I watched it so much. Um, so those are my plans for today. I am doing laundry, trying to do like a kind of deep clean on the house. My grocery list is ready. I have to go grocery shopping, but my main goal is to start and finish this hopefully. And I also need to do a review of Kingdom of the Wicked on NetGalley. So a busy day, hopefully I can get it all done. Oh, I also need to update my bullet journal. I printed out all of the books that I read in October. And then I also printed out all of the books that are in a series of unfortunate events. So as I go, I can add these into my bullet journal. So I'm going to have my very late breakfast now, watch a little bit of TV for like 15, 20 minutes, and then get back to cleaning. Good morning, it's Monday. Um, I just wanted to come on here and update you guys because I did finish The Bad Beginning yesterday. It took me two hours to read. Um, I had predicted an hour and a half and it probably would have taken me an hour and a half had I not also been like watching TV at the same time. But I enjoyed it, but I did enjoy it. I just think not as much as I would have had I not already seen the movie. Um, the ending is different to how the movie goes. They change like the wedding scene in the movie. Klaus is the one who like throws the grappling hook and goes to save Sunny but in the book uh, Violet does it and it just wasn't as like good of a scene as it was in the movie and the entire time that I was reading I could hear Jim Carrey's voice as this character especially when he says hello 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 as he opens the door to them for the first time in his like mansion i love that scene so much um i think the first three books are in the movie so after i finish the third book is when i'm going to watch the movie um so that i can like see all of the differences but i did enjoy it i'm thinking it's probably like a three maybe a four star I just didn't have too much interest in it and I was like just trying to finish it so that I can finish it in one day because I just think I love the movie so much but the first book is finished um, I do have work today I'm at my desk it's the first week of the month and that is always a very full-on week for me I am expecting a package today for my hollow pox exclusive owl crate edition but I think that I'm going to maybe do a formal video for that just because I'm so excited about that series and I kind of want it to be like its own separate video but that doesn't mean that I'll have to like get ready and set up like a proper filming station back there and I just don't know if I have the energy for that so or if I'll want to wait to do all of that we'll see um but I finished the first book I'm going to pick up the second book I have the books here in front of me on my desk it's kind of hard to get to them while they're in here but today I will be picking up the reptile room, which I think is my favorite place that are like relative that they go to stay with. Um, I think Monty is the uncle's name. I just love him. I do also really like um, their like crazy aunt that they go to stay with who's like weird about touching and like don't turn the fireplace on. And all. But I think my 
camera just cut out. Anyways, I think Monty is my favorite character so far in the first three books that I have seen from the movie that they go stay with and I am just very very excited to get past book three and see where the rest of the story goes because I've always 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 been so curious about this like secret society that their parents are a part of and who Count Olaf really is so I'm gonna get back to work and I will update you guys later. Hi! So I'm still working it's 4 15 and one I am so sad that it is so dark outside it's gonna be dark by like five o'clock so I'm gonna work from like sun up to sundown which really sucks but my owl crate box is here for my hollow pox exclusive edition and I know I said I might do like a formal video for it but I don't like doing formal videos I just don't have the energy or the time for it so we're gonna open owl a little pamphlet I have never received like a box from Owl Crate before so I don't typically know how things work I mean I did purchase their Addie LaRue box but I've never received like a regular subscription box um, but I'm thinking that this is like a spoiler card yeah all the issues in the box oh it's got a crossword puzzle in here there's a letter from the author some questions and then the photo challenge days which is really cool Something in here smells so, so good. And then on the front, there's this picture. This is Morgan Crow, who is the main character in the entire Nevermore series. Let's take, let's take all these worms out. I say worms because there's an OG YouTuber, Bunny, who calls them worms. And that's just what I'm used to. So right on top, I see, ooh. The stickers come off. It says whipped up wonderful Hotel Deucalion shower steamer peach smoke to invoke sweet dreams of summer. It says place on shower floor just out of the path of water. Breathe the steam aroma. Handmade in Dallas, Texas. Cool. This is what smells so good like peach and orange and tangerine. I love this. So it's not exactly a bath bomb but you put it in the shower with you. And I love this idea. It just smells so, so good. Next we have unit 919 trading cards. So 919 comes into play in the second book when Morgan gets into One Sock Society. So let's open these up. So the first one on top is Anna. Anna Callow. Patron, Sumati, Mishra, Knack, Healer, One Sock School, Mundane Arts, Interests, Anatomy, and Biology, Favorite One Sock Class, How to Stop a Human Heart, Temporarily. Um, so it says One Sock School, Mundane Arts, there are two different schools you can go to to learn how to like hone your knack. So there's the Mundane Arts and the Archaean Arts, and at first Morgan gets put in the Mundane Arts but it's just because they're afraid of her power so eventually she gets moved to the arcane arts next we have thadia mcleold i vaguely remember some of these characters so this her patron is unknown knack she's a fighter uh one sock school mundane arts interests wrestling humans and beasts of any size favorite one sock class roller derby Next we have Morgan, who obviously is my favorite character, Morgan Crow, AKA Mog, which is what uh, Jupiter, her patron calls her. So it's got patron, Jupiter North, Knack, Wondersmith, One Sock School, Mundane Arts, Classified. Uh, interest exploring the Hotel Deucalion, favorite One Sock class, sub nine academic group, danger level, high. Nine signatures for safeguard pack. Um, next we have Mahir Ibra. Ibrahim. I'm not going to read the backs of all of these. Uh, Lambeth Amara. These are all um, students who are in her like unit, her family. Author Swift, who is Morgan's favorite friend. Francis Fitwilliams. 
Cadence Blackburn, she is a memorist, so people never remember her. Um, it's kind of sad. And then Arcane Tate. The only person that remembers her is Morgan for some reason. Next, this is the Umbrella, the Brawly. I love it. There's Fenestra and Mog. And then I think this is supposed to be the Hotel de Kalian. The, um hounds the hounds of smoke and something like that this is awesome i'm not going to open it because i am a little superstitious but this is so cool and i am definitely going to be using this for the upcoming rainy season next we have a one sock pin if you haven't read this series it doesn't really None of this probably means anything to you, but when you become a member of the One Sock Society, you get a wondrous W pin that lets everybody know that you're in part of this very important society. And then we have a book sleeve. I love this. I think this might be Morgan's room. I'm not sure. Or this is on the train, I think. The train that they take to get to school. This feels really nice and thick also. Next we have, oh, a flag, Proudfoot House, one sock. I'm definitely gonna put this up in my office. Unit 119, this is so cute. This is the book, and then we have, oh, it's like the poem that they say, Morning Tide's Child is Merry and Mild. Eventide's Child is Wicked and Wild. Morning Tide's Child arrives with the dawn, Eventide's child brings gale and storm. Where you are going, son of the morning, up with the sun. Where the winds are warming, where are you going, daughter of night? Deep down below, where the pale things bite. So this is like the fairy, like the rhyme that they tell. If you're born on Eventide, you're a cursed child. And if you're born on morning's tide, then you're just like a regular child. So the... Next is the book. Oh, this is beautiful. It doesn't match the rest of mine because the other ones that I have are paperback, but this is amazing. I love it. I'm going to open it. I appreciate the security, but it's so hard to open these books. And we got a little sticker with Jupiter, Morgan, and Finestra on it that says, Step Boldly, which is what Jupiter always tells her whenever she's in doubt of herself. And then there's a little card on the back that says property of wondrous society of nevermore dear owl crate junior reader i would like to inform you that the book you are about to read contains the following a hotel throwing a tantrum the silliest opera ever performed spectacular rudeness from jen the magnif fen the magnificat a very dangerous library and frankly absurd levels of christmas cheer um, and then it continues going on, but this is from Jessica Townsend. I am so excited to read this. This book is really tiny. Um, I'm planning on reading the entire of series of Unfortunate Events this month, but I might have to slip this in at some point because I just want to continue on with the series so bad and I don't want to have to wait until December, but I am so excited for this box um, and everything in it I'm definitely going to use. I'm going to put my flag up immediately um, because I am part of Unit 119. So. I'm gonna get back to work now. Good morning, it is 9.30 on a Tuesday. Oh, I feel so much better than I did yesterday. Yesterday I was just exhausted still from cleaning all day on Sunday. But I feel much better today and got like a large plan for today. I'm currently working, but during my lunch hour the plan is to take Marcy to the dog park. She has been on one walk in almost a week um because she's had like her foot infection and we were told not to take her or like let her be outside for too long so that it didn't get infected but she's been on the medication for a week now we took her on one very very short walk just because i was worried that if we went too far her foot was going to start bothering her and my boyfriend was going to have to carry her all the way back so we did a short walk but when she does not get walked or taken to the dog park regularly she gets very whiny and very very grumpy so yesterday the last couple of days she has just been a monster a brat so today during lunch i'm going to take her to the dog park i'm going to take my computer with me because i need to um put like the final editing touches on this week's vlog that's supposed to go up tomorrow 
and then hopefully do some reading. I read, I started The Reptile Room yesterday. My original plan was to finish it, but I was exhausted. I got like 33 pages in, I think, and like my eyes were closing. So I turned off the light, I had the TV going, and I slept for about an hour until my boyfriend got home. Um, and then I went to bed around like 8.30, I think, and I continued reading. So I'm now on page 122, which is chapter 9. There's 190 pages, so I have like 68 pages left, which I can definitely finish today. And then I will start the wide window, so I'm going to take this with me to the dog park because I don't think it should take too long for me to finish the editing for this week's video that's going up. I just need to put like the titles on the days, um, speed up some clips, and add some music, and then it should be good to go. Although, yeah, I can export it from the park as well. It should be fine. So that is my plan for today, finishing this, editing videos, and taking Marcy to the dog park. Okay, I forgot to talk about this, but Count Olaf in these books is way, way creepier, and it's much darker. So he's at Monty's house now, and he's threatening them with a knife, and he's told them multiple times, if I wanted to harm you, I would. I would slit your throats and your blood would be dripping all over the stairs like a waterfall. But he's, so he's using this knife and he, he's going by Stefano at this point. So Stefano is holding a knife under the table, rubbing the blade gently against, against Violet's knee for the entire meal. That grossed me out so, so much last night And I, as I was reading this. And I can't first of all these were published in 1999 the first book was i just read that on goodreads as i was like entering the information into cop pile but that like i said it just grossed me out so much and i can't believe these are children's books they are really really gruesome especially when it comes to count olaf hello it is later on in the day and i am just coming on to tell you guys that i finished the reptile room um, I also gave it a 3 out of 5 stars. I am hoping that once I get past the third book and I'm coming upon like new things that are happening outside of what was shot in the movie, I will enjoy them more. Um, but I'm in bed. I am exhausted. I just want to like lay down. So I'm in bed. I'm going to start reading The Wide Window, which follows the Baudelaire children scene with their Aunt Josephine. And the more that I think about it, I think I did really really love this maybe more than the Uncle Monty portion. I'm not sure when I rewatch the movie I will let you guys know but this has 214 pages so I'm only gonna try to read like a hundred tonight again because the book is so small and the text is so large reading like a hundred pages is really like reading 50 maybe 45 pages it's about like Two pages is about one page so I'm just going to try and read whatever I can by nine o'clock because I am wanting to go to bed early um, I was hoping to read one book a day and it's looking more like it's two days or like a day and a half but I'm hoping this weekend I will be able to catch up and read like one of the large books um, in the entire weekend but so far so good two books down out of 13 now I'm going to get comfy in bed and keep reading Hello, happy Wednesday. I am just now getting ready to leave the office. I've been here for about an hour. There wasn't too much mail to scan, so I'm done, which I'm glad for. I just want to go home. Uh, it's going to be hot today, so I don't know if I'm going to take Marcy to the dog park or not. We'll see how it is closer to 12. My boyfriend did take her on a walk last night as well, like a really long hour walk. So I'm hoping that means that she'll be tired enough today and then I can take her tomorrow because it's supposed to be a little bit cooler. Um, but reading wise, I am currently listening to Finale on Scribed. I don't have any podcasts or like YouTube videos to listen to or watch today, um, which is kind of a bummer. I might just watch like Bob's Burgers or Archer, but I'm listening to Finale. I'm on chapter 20. I think the last time I checked I had 8 hours. I am listening to it on 1.8 speed. Um, I was just about to say I was going to listen to it while I work, but I'm reviewing IPPs, which means I have to read reports. So that's probably not a good idea. Um, I might try it for a little bit. We'll see. I started The Wide Window last night, which I keep wanting to call The Wide Widow. It just flows better. 
Um, and I think yesterday I said that, so I prefer Uncle Monty as a guardian, but the story for like the wide window and Lake Lacrimose is just better. Somebody at my work just pulled up, so I am going to go and finish updating you guys later. So I'm done with work. I'm on the couch now, and I think I'm going to try and finish the wide window. My boyfriend is staying late at work to finish up some stuff, which means I don't have to cook dinner until closer to six o'clock, which is nice because it was kind of hot today. So I'm glad to be able to put it off until it cools down a little bit more. But the goal right now is to finish the wide window and hopefully start the fourth book, which I don't know anything about it, which I'm excited about tonight. Thursday and my neighbor has been crushing cans in his backyard since 7 a.m. this morning. You can do whatever you want on your property but it's right next to me so I have been listening to it for three hours now which is just great. Anyways, I finished the wide window last night. I gave it four out of five stars. I gave the first two three stars just because I didn't enjoy them as much. They were very very different from the way the movie was done, which I know you shouldn't compare the two, but I just didn't enjoy them as much. I did really, really like this one, although... It was really, really sad to see Aunt Josephine be such a bad guardian. There is a moment in the end where Count Olaf is has been exposed and Aunt Josephine knows that it's him and he's like gotten the kids out of Lake Lacrimose and the aunt and she's like you can have the kids I'll write them over to you just don't kill me don't kill me and the kids realize like there's an internal monologue for them where they're just like they can't believe that she did that there's like a gnat in here and they just feel like they've had such bad luck so far and this guardian just doesn't care about them and even though she's been a bad guardian they still want to save her and care about her so that just made me really sad but I did enjoy this one more than I enjoyed the first two. I liked the plot for this better and my intrigue and enjoyment was higher so that's why I gave it a four stars. Um, I wanted to watch the movie last night but my boyfriend didn't really want to. He did agree to watch it with me tonight. It's on Netflix so we're gonna watch it after dinner. Um, we're just having leftovers tonight so I don't have to cook which is nice and then I am not going to do any reading for this series tonight. I'm going to wait until tomorrow to start The Miserable Mill. I do think I want to start Hollow Pox tonight which I have right here. I just really really want to get back into this world so so badly so I think I'm going to start this tonight although I am worried that if this is so good and the Lemony Snicket books aren't that great, I'm gonna rate them lower, so I'm not sure. Um, I'm all dressed already because at one I have a meeting with one of my units and typically we just do like no camera, but for some reason this month my boss wants to have the cameras on. I think it's just been a long time since we've all seen each other, so I had to put on clothes and get dressed from the top up. Um, I am going to try to take Mars to the dog park. It's warm, but it's very overcast today, so I'm hoping if I sit in the shade that it will be fine. So I'm going to get back to work. I'm watching old Chloe vlogs because I just don't have anything to watch right now. Like, I'm not watching any TV series, and every time I put Boss Burgers on, I can only get through one episode before my Hulu kicks me out, which is super, super frustrating. So, <sighs> yeah. Good morning. It's Saturday. It's 8 a.m. I don't know why I'm up this early. I typically like to sleep in until like at least nine on the weekends, but my body said, we're good, let's get up. I think part of it is that I am so excited that it's raining outside. There is like a 100% chance it's gonna be raining all day. So I've got the window open so that I can hear it. It is on and off right now. 
I'm in my PJs. I'm gonna stay in my PJs all day unless we leave the house. I've got my comfy blanket on the couch. Marcy is laying in her bed with her blanket. She looks so cute. She wanted to go outside this morning and I was like, you're not gonna wanna go outside, it's raining, okay? But still, she was like at the back door. She's like, I need to go outside. This is what I do. I open the door. I let her outside. She was walking around. She was like, uh, everything's wet. And I was like, yeah, I tried to tell you that. She tried to like walk around to different places where she laid. Like, maybe I can come over here. Maybe I can come over here. And eventually it was like, just get back inside. And she's like, okay. She came inside. She's laying down on her bed. Um, and I am currently watching, this might get weird, the podcast that Mamory Hart and Grace Helbig do. I love them. It is such a good podcast. This is their like election podcast, um, which I know is just pretty much all anybody's talking about currently. I'm not gonna talk about it. Um, but after I watch this, I am going to continue with my read of The Crowns of Croswald, which I know is not a series of unfortunate events book, but um, this book was sent to me on NetGalley from the publisher. Uh, they reached out to me on Instagram and asked if I would be interested in reading it. And I only have a few days left of access to it on NetGalley. So I want to make some progress on it. I'm already 20 something percent in. Um, so I'm just going to kind of bounce back and forth between this and The Miserable Mill, which is the fourth book in a series of unfortunate events. My boyfriend and I just watched the movie and I loved it. It was so good, but I'm beginning to suspect that the like spyglass and the secret society that their parents are supposedly in in the movies doesn't come into play in the books. I think it was just something they put in the movie which is really disappointing that they didn't continue on with it. I did look up to see if the spyglass comes in. It's only in one book that it's mentioned. Um, it is mentioned in the TV show so I might have to watch that show to figure out what all of that is about, what I have been curious about since I was a child and saw the movie in theaters. So I'm going to read a little bit more of The Crowns of Croswald um, by D.E. Knight, I believe is the author, and then I will start on The Miserable Mill. But we don't have plans for this weekend. It's raining all weekend, so I'm going to be here on this couch or in bed reading as much as possible. Hello, it's much later on in the day. Um, I am on page 105 of the Crowns of Croswald and I'm about to start reading The Miserable Mill. Um, I have just had the nicest day with my boyfriend. We have not done anything. We had breakfast delivered from Denny's which was so good. Um, I got the Grand Slamwich which I've never gotten before and it was really good. We have had the windows open all day, just having like the breeze and the sound of the rain and wind coming in. It hailed for a little bit, which was kind of scary because we have a grill in the backyard and hearing the sound of it just pelting onto it was so loud. Um, we haven't turned the lights on all day. We have just been laying on the couch, like cuddled up underneath our blanket. I do have a candle going now. We were a little worried that the lights might go out for a bit, so I had like everything charging just in case. Um, he just took our dog for a quick walk. She has a ton of energy and it's supposed to be raining like a hundred percent all day tomorrow. So I definitely won't be able to take her or even take her to the dog park, but it has just been such a nice day being lazy, being on the couch. We're going to have something delivered for dinner too. Um, I'll cook tomorrow, but I'm just loving this weather. I'm also really enjoying the crowns of Croswell and I'm kind of disappointed in myself for letting waiting so long it has very big harry potter vibes on like the like her um it's about this girl ivy lovely she is um i think the book is already out so it's okay if i like talk about it um she was a scaldrony maid which is like a maid in a castle who handles the dragons 
who actually cook the food like they open their mouths really wide and you stick the pans in them and the heat coming off of it cooks them which is kind of interesting um, and one of the dragons gets sick and <clears throat> the like head lady Helga or whatever is just so upset that she kicks her out and the poor little dragon and so she goes off she's like okay like I'm I'm free now and she finds a note from a friend of hers who she was looking for and she finds out that he's like gone but he's left her all of this money and so she's like okay I guess I can do whatever I want now with my life and she's going and she crosses from like what is like the area that she's living in into the forest and there's this huge like sonic boom which I'm thinking is like the forest recognizing her magic or something I think she's like a long lost princess that's the vibe that I'm getting there's a lot of like hints towards it um the school that they go to for magic so she gets picked up by this like flying house basically that comes and um tells her like oh we're here to to take you to the school and she's like that can't be possible and they're like well we're here like how else would we know that it was you if we couldn't send you magic so they take her in the school is between scrivenists which are like people who serve royal houses and do magic and then like royals who have magic but they only have magic through crowns that they wear with gemstones in them um and i guess royals come and pick up their crowns before the school year starts and there is one crown that has been unclaimed which is unheard of and their queen who they call the dark queen because she rose to power when another queen died um she's there like visiting the crownery trying to figure out why and it's like nobody has seen her in hundreds of years nobody even knows what she looks like but the like schooling system and the magic and all of that just gives me really really big harry potter vibes and i am loving it so much like i said i'm on page 105 i want to continue reading but i do need to start the miserable mill so i'm going to try to read like 50 pages of that and then probably get back to the crowns of crossworld I'm just having the best weekend and it's only Saturday. I'm, this is great. I love the rain. <laughs> Hello, I am just coming on to end this vlog. Um, I'm in bed. I'm going to probably play on my phone for a little bit and then go to sleep. I did not finish The Miserable Mill or The Crowns of Croswald. Um, I am 77% into The Crowns of Croswald, I believe. 80% now. So I'm 80% into The Crowns of Croswald. I am really, really enjoying it. I just don't want to rush myself, so I'm taking my time. Um, I am absolutely loving it. There's so much like intrigue and mystery surrounding our main character. It's so good. And I am 45 pages into The Miserable Mill. It's interesting. I am really intrigued and excited to get into the rest of the series and find out where the rest of the Baudelaire story goes um, and see what other devious things Count Olaf has done. So I am going to go to sleep now. I just wanted to say thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you are reading this month and what you have already read so far. So thank you again and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.